Hi everyone, uh, my name is Chris and I'm here back with another investment topics. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of dividend investing uh, and two things to watch out for should you decide to invest in dividend stocks. So dividend paying companies distribute a portion of their uh, net income to holders of their shares every year and reinvest any remaining profits to the, back to their business. So dividend paying stocks allow investors to profit in two ways, first from the share price appreciation and then second from the cash payment uh, in terms of dividend. And, and because of that, this is an, uh, this is an attractive strategy for investors uh, to grow wealth from stocks. For myself, I have a combination of dividend paying stocks and growth stocks in my portfolio as well. But what works for me uh, may not work for you depending on your risk profile. As with any investment, uh, before deciding to invest, it's always good to see what are the pros and cons of uh, investment strategy. Okay, so let's see the good thing first. So first, um, dividend can be a passive income stream. So this is probably the biggest advantage of uh, investing in dividend paying stocks because dividend stocks make regular cash payment to their shareholder. Uh, some pay quarterly, some annually. So this introduces the element of passive income to your investment portfolio. You need to put an effort initially to find uh, good dividend stocks, but assuming that you invest in high quality companies, they would allow you to accumulate uh, cash from dividends for years to come. So the other thing to highlight is that dividend is a realized profit. So as cash available in your account, then compare that to profit from a non-dividend stock that are only in paper and only realized uh, when you sell their, the investment. So second point is, uh, dividend stock allow you to invest once but profit potentially twice. So dividend paying stocks allow investors to profit in two ways uh, as we mentioned earlier from share appreciation and dividend cash payment itself. But uh, if you compare that to non-dividend paying stocks, it, it only offers a potential profit when you buy it at a lower price and then sell them later at a higher price. And uh, the third point is a uh, dividend stocks could add more stability to your portfolio. So many companies that pay dividends are strong performers and they're able to make distribution to investors because they have great deal of cash. So they're often from uh, defensive sectors that includes company uh, providing foods, beverage, utilities, housing companies, uh, pharmaceutical and health cares. So even during times of economic uncertainty, demand for this uh, kind of goods and service don't typically go down because people still consume food and beverage and heat their homes and demand uh, medical care. So investing in this company could provide a good hatch uh, to your investment portfolio from a bad market uh, situation. They are more likely to keep their investment uh, value and they tend to be uh, less volatile compared to the total stock market. So the fourth advantage is dividend reinvestment. So once the cash from the dividend payment is available in your account, you have immense options to reinvest them. So one might choose to reinvest in the same dividend paying stocks uh, in order to gain even more dividend in the future, but other might uh, invest on other stocks, whatever is suitable for you. So reinvesting dividends uh, would allow your investment to compound and grow in value and you are in total control of how you would go about it. Uh, last one, uh, investing in a dividend paying stock is suitable for long-term investment. So as you probably know, long-term investment is one of the best way to grow wealth from a uh, stock market. So however, with a long-term horizon, there could be a number of occasions where investors need extra cash so in this situation, investors in dividend stocks uh, have the additional option to use cash accumulated from dividend instead of uh, selling their shares. So now that we have seen some of the advantages of uh, investment in dividend paying stock, 
uh, let's look at the disadvantage as well. So first, uh, there will be a limit on potential investment returns. So dividend stocks may uh, pay out a sizable uh, rate of return, but even the most high yield dividend stocks out there do not pay more than 10% uh, per quarter. So compare that to a high growth investment strategy, which could lead to massive losses, but the potential gains is also much more higher. So for instance, someone who invested a significant amount of Amazon and Tesla shares 10 years ago would have been incredibly wealthy by now. So buying a number of high yield dividend stocks will not lead to a similar rate of return. So over time, dividend paid could go down as well as the company uh, growth model changes over time. So the second point is tax inefficiency. So one of the main drawbacks of dividend investing, uh, your dividends payment are effectively subject to being taxed twice. So first it happened when uh, before you receive the dividend because company have to pay tax on their annual earning and it is those earning that are used to generate the dividend payment. So the second is when uh, we as an investor receive the, uh, the dividend and must pay the personal income or capital gain tax on any dividend over the course of a, a given tax year. So in essence, this double taxation uh, means that you're paying as the partial owner of the company and as well as an individual. And the third disadvantage is the side effect of dividend policy changes. So when a dividend uh, paying company makes changes to its policy, particularly those that leads to uh, less uh, or that lead to cutting or eliminating payouts, it will have a negative in, uh, impact on the company share price. So if a company is forced to cut its dividend for any reason, you run the risk of losing uh, your dividend uh, income stream as well as the second profit from the uh, share price appreciation because other investors might sell and move on to uh, other stocks. Um, the fourth disadvantage is high dividend payout risk. So investing in company that has a high dividend payout ratio involves a significant amount of risk. So the dividend payout ratio show you how much the company uh, earning is used to pay out dividend versus the amount retained for the company to pay its debt or reinvest in its growth. So determining the amount to pay uh, to shareholder can be a delicate balancing act for many companies because they want to attract and keep investor with a high payout, uh, but they also want to uh, retain enough earning to support future expansion and uh, keep the ability to raise dividend at the same time in the future. So. The fact is that when a company uh, dividend payout ratio becomes too high, it's not sustainable and it can often lead to a uh, business having to cut or eliminate its dividend altogether. Uh, the last disadvantage here is uh, dividend uh, investment could lead to sector concentration. So dividend stock are often clustered in certain industry or market sectors. And and hence, dividend uh, investor needs to pay special attention uh, if they are sufficiently diversified in their portfolio. So ideally, not all of the dividend paying stock are from the same or similar sectors. Uh, for example, when the oil industry crashed in the early 2020, formerly reliable dividend stock uh, like ExxonMobil have to slash its dividend. If all of your dividend stocks investment were shares of oil companies, you would have lost a significant chunk of your income. So furthermore, by investing only in dividend paying stocks, an investor might lose the uh, excellent opportunity to invest in uh, non-paying dividend uh, stocks that have appreciated uh, shareholders with higher rate of returns in terms of share price appreciation. So for example, stocks like Amazon, Tesla, and Google, and so on.
So after seeing the pros and cons, should you decide to invest in dividend paying stock, there are two things that I would watch out for. First is the dividend yield trap. So dividend yield is a financial ratio that shows how much of a company uh, pay out in dividend stock each year relatively to its uh, stock price. So high yield can be uh, seemingly deceptive. So a, a yield could be very high and seem very attractive at first, but it should be avoided if the only reason that the dividend yield is high is the share price uh, continues to decline uh, rather than the uh, business performing well. The second thing to watch out for is the high dividend payout ratio. So a payout ratio greater than 70% uh, for multiple years is a warning sign it's really not sustainable because it tells us that the company is not retaining enough uh, of its profit to reinvest in its itself uh, for its growth and expansion in the future and basically it's not good for the long term. So at the end of the day, uh, in my opinion, having dividends uh, paying stock uh, is always a good thing. Uh, because it could help stabilize your portfolio and how much to allocate is really depend on the existing asset allocation uh, that you already have and your risk profile and always do your research before investing in anything and uh, if you have any uh, feedback feel free to drop a comment down below and good luck with your investment.